Hello guys. Today I want to address um, some questions that uh, some of my viewers raised up in my last video. So that is what we'll be doing today. Okay, the video was about how to retrieve your hacked WhatsApp. Okay. Now let me just go into it. Right. Now before we learn how to retrieve our hacked whatsapp you have to know how your whatsapp got hacked that's the first question you have to ask yourself how did my whatsapp get hacked is it someone who is close to me that just took my phone and like did that or it's like is it uh, someone who called me and and i mistakenly gave him my password or is it a spyware on my phone or is it uh, someone who allowed uh, an SMS forwarding on my phone all those questions you have to ask yourself and try and remember what actually went wrong before your phone got hacked okay so after your phone is being hacked okay you just go back to um, you uninstall and you reinstall it back that's your whatsapp Right, I've already done that because of time. You select your language and the particular number that I'm using, it's I've already done the one that I've done in the previous video. So I'm just going to input that. Verify Okay. So then I'll hit on next. Right. Two-step verification has been allowed on the number by the hacker. So if I try to go in, they will ask me that. Okay. So at this stage, you see that you saw that I typed something and they will send me a code. That's like a, a six-digit code for me to actually verify my number. All right. Now this code will be sent both to you and the hacker. So you don't need to put in this code here. You don't need to put anything here. So you just take okay. All right. You don't need to put anything here. What you need to do is you click on what? Need help getting code. Need help getting code. Just beneath here. So you just wait for the um, time to be up then you click on need help getting code then you request the code through a call hope you get me so you request the code through a call and when you do that immediately you input the code here the hacker will be signed out and you also won't get access to it directly like for now you won't get access to it so like it's like whatsapp is working on it to see who actually the owner is so need help getting a code all right so i will now click on call me instead of the recent code or the sent sms i'll click on call me now they will call me and they will give me the code all right so let's just wait for this to also to be up and I will tap on it. They will call and they will give the code to me to the call. All right. So let's just wait for that. All right. So the time is up and let me just tap on call me. So it's saying requesting call. Yeah, so I just got a call and I just and they gave me the code. So let me just end that. Okay. All right. So immediately you do that, like what you just did. Immediately you input the code. The hacker is being logged out instantly. So I issue a call code. They give it to me. I input it there and the hacker is being logged out. Even though they are asking you a two-step verification code here, 
but still the hacker is being logged out so that means the hacker doesn't have access and now it's like you have full access over it okay now on this step what you need to do here is since you are not the one who set up the two-step verification you click on what forgot me and just read what they said okay if you added an email address while setting up two-step verification you can reset your pin via email alternatively in six days you can reset your whatsapp account to continue without a pin if you hear me so this means that since the hacker is being logged out he doesn't have access to the account again if you want access to the account unless he gets an sms through to you before you can get access to it no if you get me so just just that way and in my next video i'll actually try and demonstrate um the ways that the hackers actually get your details but for this video i'm just trying to address the questions that popped up in my last video so with this one you just have to wait for six days okay so after six days since the hacker won't get access to your account um now so after six days you can actually get um, gain full access to your account this is actually done in a form that if you were the one who set the verification code and you forgot it you can actually just go to your email and retrieve it so that means you go to true processes you go to the first process which is by receiving a pin on your phone that's your sms and as well as setting a two-step verification code also on it all right so i hope this address all the issues which are arising okay and also please kindly subscribe and give me a thumbs up and also leave a comment down below if you have any question please don't hesitate to just ask and i will address that in another video okay so stay safe and see you guys later